Hello, welcome. So today I'm going to teach you how to contact the Starlink customer service representative team so they can fix the problem from your account. So this is my brother's account and he actually paid for June uh, billing and that was uh, 38,000 there. But then the billing was stated pending, which is a, a rare uh, situation and I wonder what that means. But now he want to pay for July and he was billed 76,000, which is a double of what he's supposed to pay for June and July. Or what is supposed to pay for a particular month okay so we are trying to fix this issue and i realized that styling made it a little bit difficult for people to contact them and this is the problem many nigerians are having that they can't even contact the styling and i actually did that from my past experience i actually fixed mine when i had an issue with my office network and i actually fixed it in a very simple way because i am a website designer and i understand the trick around this and i understand when some ui are some kind of having some kind of dark uh, UI uh, practices that may make users delay or slow users down from contacting these services. So this is exactly what to do. So if you have any issues like this or any issue at all you want to fix here, click on the billing. Um, now when you click on this, you're going to see all of your invoices. Now let me explain this very quickly. All of these invoices you see over here are the charges you're supposed to pay and these are the statements from the previous ones that try to debit you. All of this one at the top these are the trial a debit trial the ones you are supposed to pay that actually declined then this is the payment history which encompasses everything you need to know about your payment and also the ones that actually declined this is piece by piece and this is joint in general so this is part of it so you don't get confused you're not going to pay for all of these things at once these are declined payment then when you get to the next page in case you have other payments you see that we have that option over here which says pending and we have this one which says failed now the pending is the one of 38,000 and the failed is one of 72,000 so this pending is assumed that he have not paid when he have made the payment so we want to actually uh, issue a request for them to fix this so that this particular June payment will be will be actually completed and then we will be uh, issued a new billing of 38,000 which we can easily make payment from here and by the way you want to change your payment method you can just click on the option click on the edit option then you can change your payment options from here so now we understand our problem what you need to do is to screenshot this particular part this particular one that you're having a problem with the exact one you're having a problem with then go into support then from the support area this is where people get it confused if you're having a billing issue you should choose the billing option if you're having a service plan issue you should choose the service plan option okay now we're having a billing issue because we are billed wrongly if it's a service plan then it is because possibly our plan isn't actually working well or we are having a service issue or maybe the plan the payment we made we didn't actually use the service so you can use this particular one but if it's actually billing issue we hit on the billing Okay, so let's click on the billing and get to the next page. So now in the next page, you can find it. We have some options here, which are a little bit confusing to us. You can't even find any way to actually chat them. So what you need to do here is you see the options we have. We have refund, we have credit and the promotion, blah, 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 blah. You see payment history. Then we have billing issue. We still click on this again. So now we are faced with this. We see we have another option says monthly service incorrect and then unknown charges. Now, if you look closely in all of these options we are clicking, we have some information here that tells us a little bit of the problem we are having and how to resolve it ourselves in case it is just a minor issue. But this time around, we can actually resolve that because we don't have option to do that because we are not the, their technical team. So we see options from here. We see the options. It's telling us what to do. We have to proceed because we have more options to actually click here. So we see we have here unknown charges. So we click on that or we see a uh, monthly service fee incorrect we can either use this or use this unknown charges you get the point so anyone you use is still okay it doesn't matter so we are going to use unknown charges because we are charged we actually know the why, why we are charged so it's not actually an unknown service so it will be a, a monthly service fee incorrect mm, we can also use that but let's just use unknown charges assuming that we don't even know what's going on so this is where people get it wrong they don't even see where to fill in the information and do the rest of the things but look very closely here you see, he said, did you, this answer your question? Now, they didn't say yes or no. They put this particular thumbs up and thumbs down. What this practically means in UI design is yes and no. And when you say yes, 
they will take you back to your dashboard. But when you say no, which is thumbs down, they will actually bring up the option. Let's just see that. Click on no. You see, we have an option now to contact. So this is how difficult they made it. And this is how simple it is actually to override that. Now we have this option. We can now click on contact support where they will provide us the information to fill. So we have our information. We have selected the billing, billing issue, unknown charges. Now we have to put our topic here and we have to put our subject here. So we paste this. I already have the information we want to use. So I paste this over here and then copy the next one. Copy and we paste it here. Okay, so we have the information. You see, my payment charges for July are doubled. Okay, now I say I was charged in July this amount, but it says pending in my dashboard. And now in July, I was charged in, in July, I was billed for uh, to pay 76 thousand. Uh, I think it's a system error. Okay, here should be a comma. Here, okay, system error here. And I am waiting for a fix so I can pay the July bill, not June inclusive. Thank you. So now you can add your dash, your, your attachment so that they can see what actually happened. So I have my attachment over here. So I select on the screenshot and the signature have been appended. All I need to do is now click on submit. So we are going to do that right away. So it has been submitted. So we see the name of the person who submitted it and the date and everything. Payment charges issue. If your issue is resolved, you have to come back. This is actually a ticket you have opened. You have to come back here and click issue resolve. Just click on this option. So this is the details. Everything is here. So if they reply, you're going to see a reply beneath this. And then you can place your own reply or, or comment here and submit. Okay. But then you will get an email immediately. They reply this. And usually they take about 24 hours. Mine wasn't up to 24 hours. It's around 7 hours. And I got a reply immediately. So keep checking your email. Immediately you get this. Or if you are using your mobile phone, the, the application, Starlink application, application to actually do this you will receive a notification from the mobile application on a reply okay so you can either reply from there continue your reply from there or here they are very kind in reply their customer service are very very kind in reply the last lady she actually resolved my problem without any issues so i got a reply from them and if you want to see a reply you're going to see a dot a red dot at all messages or you're going to get that from your application like i said earlier so i got a reply from them and they say thank you for reaching out for the support contact support so that it may say this reply is not up to uh the amount of time i actually pointed out this is around uh three or four hours or so so that uh assist further please answer the following questions they say did anyone set up the account for you if yes who okay is the payment method listed in the account for personal uh account your personal account does the name in the account match the name on the card you attempted to use if yes why then has this payment method or account name been used in another Starlink website previously? Are you using the Starlink for residential use only? Have you created other Starlink accounts? You can please provide us with the image of the four digits of the card you will be using. Now, this is the new card they are talking about adding to the uh, payment because they have actually declined the old card. It won't be used again. And I noticed from my own end because I subscribed from my brother. I noticed from my own end that they actually canceled my card. I have to use a new card for the payments. So this is the reply my brother gave immediately. He said no, no, no. It was having difficulties adding. Uh, worked. Yes, yes, no. This is actually a a uh, generic answer. And I wouldn't advise you to answer like this when you're answering to customer service. Customer services provide detailed information for you to provide detailed answer for them. Okay. So this detailed information you're going to provide for them is what they are going to actually work with. So I have to actually rephrase the answer of my brother and I actually reiterated. So here I said, no, I set it up myself. No, my younger brother scared because they are trying to know who actually did it. And he actually just saying, no, no, no. It doesn't make any sense. And it sounds somehow kind of rude for me. Then here he said, uh, no, the name doesn't match because it is my brother's card. So they're asking if the name is the same with the card. Say it's my brother's card. Say, yes, I got the dish for my brother too. And they subscri he subscribed for the both of us with the same card. Okay. He has a yes for the residential use, which means it's residential use. Then this is a, I don't have another Starlink account, except it was an error while trying to set it up for the first time. Because while he was trying to set it up, there could be issues where account is set up while you don't even know. Okay. So this is practically it and we'll be waiting for their reply. Yeah, I said, please ignore the card. Uh, uh, please, the card in the previous message 
it's in the previous message thanks you can no longer you can ignore the other new tickets i opened this morning thank you so if they send a reply you are going to get like i told you earlier then you can place your information but, for, but with this information they'll be able to resolve this issue and then enable the new card you sent to them for you to add it here then they will remove the dog the payments and you can make the, your normal payments and proceed with your service so i hope you understand and when this is done you can click on my issue is resolved so you can close this ticket this is actually a ticket a resolution ticket you close it up so that you can then uh, continue with yourself so this is actually how to do it and by the way my name is manuel from kata studios and i am a website designer and brand identity designer we teach web design and we also build websites for big and small scale businesses till we meet again have a wonderful day